All right, guys, the learning target that we're going to be reteaching today is I can explain the cell theory. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the three main parts of the cell theory. So the first part is that all organisms are composed of one or more cells. If you were to look inside of anything that is living, you would see that it is composed of all kinds of different cells. So that's the first part. All organisms are composed of one or more cells. If we look at the second part, it says the cell is the basic unit of structure and organization in organisms. So basically what that's saying is the cell is the basic unit for all life. Anything that is living started out as a single cell. So again, the second part of the, th the theory is that the cell is the basic unit of all life. The third part of the cell theory is that all cells come from pre-existing cells. So what, what would happen, if we look at the picture here, is that all of these cells in cell division is going to split up into two separate cells. So cells do not spontaneously occur, they don't come out of thin air. All cells come from pre-existing cells. So now that we've wrapped up kind of what the cell theory is, Again, all organisms are composed of one or more cells. The cell is the basic unit of life, and all cells come from pre-existing cells. We're going to talk about some important people um, that played a role in discovering the cell theory. The first person is Robert Hooke. In 1665, he was the first to observe cells. He used the term cells, and he observed dead cork cells. The next person is Anton van Leeuwenhoek. In 1670, he was the first to observe living cells. Now, this is different from Hook. Hook observed dead cells. Leeuwenhoek observed living cells. Moving on to Matthias Sheldon. In 1838, he discovered plant cells. And then a year later, Theodore Schwann discovered animal cells, and he wrote the first two parts of the cell theory. So going back to that, he wrote that all organisms are composed of one or more cells, and the cell is the basic unit of life. Now, the, the person that we're going to talk about next wrapped up the cell theory coming up with the last part. Um, so Rudolf Virchow, in 1855, he wrote the last part of the cell theory which was that all cells come from pre-existing cells. So again, to recap, the three parts. All organisms are composed of one or more cells. The cell is the basic unit of life. And all cells come from pre-existing cells.